What's going on everybody? Listen, Doja Cat is at it again, being creepy and weird, just like her creepy and weird self. This post from Pop Basis, Doja Cat calls out Noah Schnapp for sharing DMs where she asked him to set her up with Joseph Quinn. Quote, that's like borderline snake shit. He shared information that I didn't feel comfortable with him sharing. It feels like a weird power play. I already said some shit to him. Now for those that don't know who Noah Schnapp is, Noah Schnapp is Will Byers from the Netflix series Stranger Things. Noah Schnapp is 17 years old. Doja Cat is a 26 year old going to be 27 this year woman DMing this 17 year old in order to get in contact with his co-star now I would love to give Doja Cat some sort of grace here maybe it's hard to get in contact with different people from that community but I find it very weird that she is then going on to attack this 17 year old boy about his decision to post the interaction online I'm just gonna say something right now about the whole fucking Noah snap thing I think that first let's be try to be chill about it to be fair this is like a kid okay so if you can acknowledge that he's a kid, why are you DMing a kid in order to get in contact with a grown man? I know you're about to play like you don't know how to get in contact with this grown man, but Doja Cat, a kid is not the way to go about it. You are Doja Cat. You're not some Joe Schmo. You're not some random. You are a very known artist. You could have gotten in contact with that man some other way. Why would you go through a kid in order to get to him? I don't know how old he is, but there, he's not even over. There's no way he's over like 21. And he might be. He's 17. Um, how about that? He's 17. But like, when you're that young, you make mistakes. You do dumb shit. I'm like trying to be super fair. You do dumb shit. You say dumb shit. You fucking fuck up relationships with people. You you make mistakes. Like you're supposed to so that you know. Why are these filters on this woman as she's trying to tell something so serious? You're supposed to do stuff like that so that you know not to do it in the future. I did my share of fuck ups so that I don't fuck up again. But the fact that this person that Noah did that like went and posted a private conversation between me and him is so so unbelievably like socially unaware if you are understanding that it is very socially unaware for a child to post these things on his tiktok page but that's something that's very likely to happen because he's a child and he's bound to make mistakes or fuck up why did you dm a child in order to get in contact with his co-star about telling him he's hot or wanting a relationship are you socially unaware i think you need to be aware have a little bit more self-awareness this is awareness inception at this point you need to be aware of who you dm and the possibilities and ramifications of the actions that you're taking you are not without fault in this situation doja cat in fact i would think that this 17 year old kid is a victim why are you dming him and then you make a live video like this knowing what's gonna happen you know you have loyal fans you know you have stands and you know that they're gonna come after you you know that already though this right here is the exact tiktok exchange right here doja cat says noah can you tell joseph to hit me up wait no does he have a girlfriend this kid says to you lma slide into his dms she says i don't know his ig or twitter he doesn't have a dm to slide in then noah proceeds to provide doja cat with joseph's ig doja cat we know you're not stupid or maybe you are there's no way that you can't tell me that you don't know his ig or twitter it's a google search that's all it is everybody knows that you know that and then you decide to go into his comment section wow that's low-key whack of you but go off i guess that's whack of you all you had to do was google him with instagram or Twitter. Honestly, I don't know what she was trying to get off. Let me see how hard it is to find Joseph Quinn. Joseph Quinn, I'm not even gonna type in Instagram or anything like that. Let's see what pops up. We go two links down. His Instagram is the second link. Two links down. Come on now, Doja Cat. And now you're trying to victimize this child when you know that your stands are gonna come after him. And that's exactly what they are doing. You've been tweeting stuff out like this. It's not like this is a secret. So let's finish this video of her clown ass explanation. That's like borderline snake shit. Like that's like He's a child. That's like weasel shit. I'm not saying that encapsulates his entire personality. Like, Noah is not, like, the definition. Of, like, like I, I wouldn't imagine he is. Maybe he is. Listen, Doja Cat, you're a grown woman. I didn't see him that way. I made an assumption that he was going to be, like, chill about it. And he went and, like, shared information that I didn't feel comfortable with him sharing. And then I understand the other people who are going to, like, roll their eyes and be like, oh, bitch, please. Like, you just tweeted that he's fine. Which is, like, okay. But, like, the intention behind it it's like i'm gonna tweet some shit that's gonna get a reaction because it's a meme and it's dumb yes he's attractive can the filter stop please <laughs>
The Vegeta over 9,000 filter is crazy. You can't escape fault in this situation. At the end of the day, like, he's a kid and you're a grown woman. I don't understand why in your mind you didn't process that. Well, maybe I shouldn't be DMing this kid because kids do dumb things. And again, I'm not even going to say this is a dumb thing. That kid probably felt very weird that Doja Cat, a grown woman, was DMing him about his older co-star. Why is a 17-year-old turning matchmaker for two grown adults? He's probably trying to figure out, hey, why don't you just do what normal people do and contact each other? You're about 10 years older than him. He wouldn't DM somebody 10 years younger than him in order to get with somebody, his co-star. Hey, kid on this show, can you get me in contact with such and such off the your co-star because I think she's hot. What you're doing is weird and you're trying to push blame off and you know your fans are going to eat that up. There's just something very weird. It's like a very degrading and... Uh, degrading? Um, Yo, the victim card is crazy. It's just exploitative. It's like exploitative Exploitive? Behavior. What are you and, talking and about? It's embarrassing. It's like super embarrassing. No. No, not the hat. The, um, the hat is crazy. <laughs> that's kind of all I have to say. I'm not really embarrassed. Like, I, it's not the end of the fucking world. Like, I flirt with, like, everybody on the internet. But it's the intention behind, like, when you make the choice to message somebody, hey, like, blah, 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 but this is private. Like, I didn't tell him that. I didn't tell him not to post it because you don't expect people to do that because it's not normal to do that. So you can acknowledge that what he did was embarrassing and it was too much and it was all these other things, but you don't think what you're doing is embarrassing? You don't think that you're making this much of a deal about it? There are, what, almost 50,000 people watching this live. This this Twitter video right here has 129K views. You don't think that it's embarrassing to this guy, this little boy, to villainize him like this? Because that's what you're ultimately doing and you could try to say, oh, you know, I'm, I'm trying to teach him a lesson or whatever, but via the internet? The internet culture is weird. Everything doesn't have to be on social media and the kid can take that as a life lesson or whatever. It's also very extremely weird that a grown-up is DMing him in order to play matchmaker and then a grown-up is going on TikTok and trying to attempt to expose him for this. Thank you for everyone that's saying he's still I, a kid. Yeah, I'm bummed and I'm like disappointed. No, it's not that deep. It, it's just disappointing. Then get off of TikTok it's if it's like not if that deep. if he's gonna be public about stuff. If it's not that deep, get off of TikTok, Doja Cat. Why does she not reach out to his mom if it's not that deep? I don't understand anything about Doja Cat. She's a very weird woman. Now, mind you, this is the same woman who had gotten caught or exposed for being in those white supremacist chat rooms playing into their deepest fantasies. And this was her response to that. I just realized how fucking stupid that narrative is. The things, the verbal harassment, the physical harassment that I could go through being in a crowd of white supremacists who you think I'm so good friends with. It's fucking ridiculous. My friends aren't fucking racist on the chat room. My friends on Tiny Chat are not fucking white supremacists. They love me. I love them. They're loving and that's it. And you won't find anything on them because you're fucking stupid. You guys are fucking disappointing. This isn't how you combat problems. And to counter that, I would say Doja Cat, this is not how you combat problems. I don't know what it is with the new age celebrity. Let's just say that everything that she was saying was true because those people that were in those chat rooms were found to be saying some pretty nasty things, some pretty racist things. But let's just say that everything she was saying would be true. You don't then get on live and yell at 30,000 or 22,000, 23,000 people calling them stupid, you're dumb, and you're this, that, and the third, and taking away all the blame from you. You're very weird when you do that, Doja Cat. I don't know if it's the new age celebrity or whatever, or maybe they just have a social media presence so they feel like all the time I should be heard, but you're a very weird person. Yes, this is me 100% fucking excusing my dumbass behavior. Okay. I'm dumb, but I'm also drunk, but on the other side of things, I can be concise, I can be clear, I can speak i am smart but i'm also kind of a dumbass in this video this is a grown ass woman i'm being completely fucking blackout drunk and completely fucking dumb i have turned off the the smart switch in my brain and this is where i'm saying shut the fuck up you and then i say hard r the n word now they thought that i was saying and maybe some of you thought that i was saying call me the hard r n word i'm in no way into race play. These people who made this video about me are Abbott and Preach who made this video. I think it was Preach that knows people who are into race play. I am in no way. I am completely not into it. This is her still, again, completely excluding herself from holding any accountability of any situation she's ever been in. And personally, as a person of influence and a role model, Doja Cat, you've got to do better. You don't get no spins around here, so it really doesn't matter to me, but you're supposed to be an example for a lot of people. And you, time after time, Time, put the blame on somebody else. Even saying I'm giving my myself an excuse for being dumb as a grown ass woman. Doja Cat seek help. But you know, I could be wrong.
Oh, this is ladies' night. Oh, what a night. Oh, what a night.